Hello everyone, this is Tardic36, back again with Monster Hunter World. Last time we took on the two uninvited guests known as the Basil Geese and also the Devil Jeho, and now we're getting to the Elder Dragons themselves. It's time to take on and defeat Nergigante. So, in other words, I'll see you at the Elder's Recess, and we will see what Nergigante has in store for us. Alright, here we are. Find Zora Madros more than we do. Uh, after all the detours I had. <laughs> I don't think you know me very well. Okay, what do you have to say, Admiral? Once I don't roll over you. Finally, the time has come. Ecological Res Research sent a messenger. I've been waiting for you. Now you better be careful. Nergigante tried to eat Zora Magnaros and failed. It tried to take on other Elder Dragons and failed there too. So now it's hungry and most likely a little bit irate too. Yeah, I can only imagine. Anyway, you don't need warnings from me, not after all you've been through. <laughs> of course you're ready. Time to move. Alright, time to do this. Now, like I probably said in other videos, but if I haven't, I'll tell you now. The Nergigante is weak to um, electricity, and I believe Dragon the most. That's why I still have my Toby, um, still have my Toby Kadachi um, Longsword. It's just what it's weak to. Now, when you're up against the Nergigante, it's uh, I say this almost like with every monster that I go up against. It's better to use a weapon where you're um, where you can move around in a lot. So the lance probably isn't the best, um, the, like, the lance or greatsword is not a good option. I would, again, use either sword and shield, long sword, maybe even a switch axe. But it kind of depends on your playstyle and how you're comfortable. Hey, guys. Hit me by the horns. The Nergi Kante's most used move is that little quick jab. Uh oh. But there are other things he can shoulder. Ah, darn it, he was going for chuckles. Yeah, he can use his wings to propel uh, to do an attack like that. Or he can use a side charge using his body. A swooping uppercut, like you're seeing there. Or a headbutt. There are just multiple ways that he can attack. So just be uh, um, prepared. What I would recommend for a weapon such as a long sword is just to stay close down if you can. And he's already in rage. And if you see like these white scales permetrate out um out of his body, you want to hit them as quick as possible because that's actually where he's weakest when it comes to armor. And you want to do it quick before it hardens because, as you could probably guess, most most attacks will just be deflected. So. However, there is one spot, even if it's hardened, you can hit without your weapon attacks being um, deflected off so easily, and that's his tail. So aim for the tail if all the other sections seem to be hardened. Oh, no luck. Alright. 
Yeah, for that headbutt, what you mainly need to do is just roll at him. Okay, we're doing decent. Yeah, the Nergigon Nergigante, either due to your weapon choice, can be one of the hardest or the easiest Elder Dragons to take on. Frankly, with my weapon, I say he's one of the easiest. Uh-oh. When he does this, when he kind of rolls like that, you need to get ready to block or invent a dodge. Because that's one of his most devastating moves. You do not want to be on the receiving end of that. Keep him still, Chuckles. Good enough. I can take... I can take those little scabs. I thought for a moment I was a little bit too close. Uh oh. Oh, this will do. Remember, when he gets to this area... Maybe that's not the right one. Is it this one? There we go. Probably should have waited until I was a little bit closer, but I didn't want him to move from where he was. That's late plans. <laughs> Wing charge. That's damaging, but... Yeah, but if you roll into him, like, so that you're underneath his belly, you should be fine. Took a chance. Wrong call. Too bad for you. I'm cheap. <laughs> I am definitely so cheap. Okay, I need to get his tail. Yep, yeah, that's like the only thing that's not really hardened at this point. Uh-oh. Um, just be careful, depending on what move he does, he's bound to, excuse me, I can't even talk, there could be some, um, ground residue that he kind of pulls up, and that goes for a lot of damage. that one. There we go. Yeah, like that. Get out of the general vicinity of that claw that he produces down to the ground. He's near death already? Holy crud.
Generally, yeah, that's why I prefer either a sword and shield or a longsword. Preferably a longsword for this fight, although some people can do charge blades. I have no idea how, <laughs> because I'm terrible with them. Uh-oh. Wow, that did a lot of damage. That could have been bad. Uh-oh. Here comes another dive. And I'm very glad I did not die. Will this stop him? No. I don't know why I thought that would stagger him. Stop in the name of love. Please stop. Please. I can't run that fast as... I can't run as fast as you, limp. I'm terrible, and I want those horns. Goodbye. Knew I should have used foresight. Sweet. Although the part I want to hit is probably going to be gone by the time... Or will harden by the time I... Get off of him. Or not. That's it. That's it for Nergigante. Oh boy. Even though this appeared easy, if you let him have the chance to recover or even gain even a little momentum, he can potentially you could probably guess dance on you or just pressure you and that's exact and that's what you can't afford oh i got both those horns in the end otherwise this is it for nergigante and soon we'll see if there's anything more that we have to do but of course we need to talk to the admiral once this timer is done <sighs> that took some effort now let's head back. Hey guys. Hey. Well, look who's still with us. So we have elder dragons eating other elder dragons. Wonderful. That clears some things up. Yeah. We weren't looking at the big picture. Until we came to the new world, how could we know? <laughs> Nergi Gante came here looking for a feast. <laughs> and he made a real mess of the local ecosystem in the process. Here is good. Now that the problem child's been put to bed, the other elder dragons should revert to their usual behavior. <laughs> you did good. Thank you. So, you ready to go?
What's wrong? No, there's a piece of the puzzle missing. How did this area end up becoming such a hotbed of energy in the first place? Enough energy to lure in a menace like that and convince it to switch habitats doesn't just naturally happen. There's something deeper within that we have to maybe confront. That's a good question. Underway. As you all know, when Nergigante descended into the Elder's recess, it stirred up a veritable hornet's nest. Uh. Being that Nergigante feeds on Elder Dragons, you can imagine that every monster in the recess got spooked. <laughs> At the very least. Initially, I thought we could nip this problem in the bud by eliminating Nergigante. But unfortunately, that's not the case. Despite our best efforts, the situation has escalated. Elder dragons fleeing their Gigante's wrath have started invading other areas. Ah, great. Now we're coming across elder dragon tracks left and right. In the forest, among the wild spire, even in the rotten vale. Our team has managed to attribute the tracks to three distinct elder dragons so far. Emphasis on so far. Many of you have crossed paths with elder dragons in the old world. You know the consequences of their cataclysmic power. And you know what dangerous adversaries they make. But yep. no matter the danger, we have to seize upon this opportunity. We'd be fools not to. Finally! Thought you'd never ask. Yeah, yeah, all right. First things first. I want our field team to start gathering evidence. We need to track down these beasts and pinpoint their exact locations. So I've decided to split you into three groups. All right. Field team leader, you'll be heading up the ancient forest investigation. And the Wildspire Waste, that one's yours. As for the Rotten Vale, we'll be needing the third fleet's help with that one. I'll leave it up to these delegates to decide how to use the field team. Lastly, don't forget to relay your findings to the ecological research team once you've gathered enough evidence. Everyone clear? All right. Dismissed. All right, so we got three more problems to take care of. Now you're talking. Well, this just keeps getting more interesting. <laughs> yeah, I have to do all the work, or any other player has to do all the work. I like nothing more than, than to help you out, but I got somewhere I need to be. An old friend told me he's trying to track down a place breathing with energy, sort of like what the handler was talking about just a moment ago. Maybe that's the problem tor towards all this. Hmm. He's planning to go and investigate alone. Can't have that. <laughs> now don't go blabbing about this to anyone else. My old friend would never forgive me if I let this full full line out of the bag. <laughs> the rich all across the new world, huh? The Everstream 2 is a part of this system. I, sp I suspect the reason the Elder Dragons are s still stirring despite Nurigante's disappearance is somehow related to this. Hmm. See ya. Anyway, good luck with things on your end. I'll let you know what we find out. Also, I had a message for you. Okay. I'll be waiting in the place beyond where all things converge. Well, his pl words, not mine. <sighs> yep. If the Elder Dragons aren't showing any signs of settling down, then we'll have to look into it. Yep. We're on the hunt. That's just how things work. What a pain in the Astellos. I actually fought that in Generations. It was actually kind of fun. But, what? You do it for me, really? Well, that's a totally rattle up. Whatever. Cool Rathian armor, by the way. <laughs> Sweet, I already have all the, all I need. Alright, here's the field team leader. Yo. Hello, friend. There you are. We split up the hunters in the 4th and 5th to make the search for the Elder Dragon Trail go faster. Alright? Like you to join us in the ancient forest and look there. Gather any evidence you can find. 
Alright, you can do it while you're on an expedition or during a quest. Doesn't matter either way. We'll be spread over a wide area. Okay. Keep it together, okay? No problem. Hello, huntsman. It's time. We got an old dragon to track. From what I can gather, the trail's more prominent on rock and sand. Alright. Dry dry areas. All right. Got it. Alright, what do you have for me, Missy? Oh. I figured out how to meld even more new decorations. Okay. That'll be much later, though. Can I do anything with Nurigante right now? I think the answer is a great big whooping no, but... Doesn't hurt to check. Um. All oh, right, I can actually do that now. Otherwise, that's not important. Nope, I need some more claws. Then I can have the last bit of. Ah, uh, this will be a pain. Oh, well, but that's like one of the most damaging weapons in the game. Plus a dragon. Okay, gotta focus. You again? Let's do it. Working hard? Good luck. Ah, uh, Barnos Talon, really? Okay. Let's see what I need to know about the the third elder dragon, shall we? All right, we made it and I already talked to the third fleet master. Basically, what we need to do for the... Yep, we gotta go to the bottom of the veil to find it. I was thinking, um, just so that it's helpful for you to... I thought it would be helpful to kind of show you where they're most prominently gonna be at. So I'll see you in all these locations re relatively shortly. Alright, so here we are in the ancient forest, and basically what I'm gonna show you is, or tell you, is that some of these tracks, they're mainly gonna be right here in the Rathalos and Rathian's neck nest. Yep, like this one right here. Wait, this came from the Elder Dragon the field team leader assigned us to. Let's track it. Found some Elder Dragon evidence. We're making good progress. Yeah, I'll mainly be in widespread areas, like the nest. There's some... there's gonna be some below here as well. Sorry, I just thought I would try to help you all out if you're having trouble trying to find any evidence. And at times there's gonna be some right down here as well if you saw my fight with uh, Rathalos. What you're generally looking for is open spaces, I believe, and potentially high altitudes. Uh, that doesn't help. Okay. I believe there's a couple more places that I can... Hey, Toby. How are you doing? Excuse me. Alright, sometimes there'll be some footprints here. And right now there isn't any, which is our luck. Yep. 
Oh, this is... Never mind about this, that's something else. Sometimes there's evidence here as well, but it looks like there isn't any at this time. Okay, and there's one more predominant place. Another place would be right around here. There's sometimes some um gusts that um there's sometimes some old windswept gusts. So I look around at those areas that I just showed you and you should it shouldn't take too much time, but it's going to take multiple tries at least. Oh, one more place, sorry. I lied. And there's probably some other places too like um if you saw me fight the Do uh, Devil Shaho, I think that's also another spot, but I'm probably wrong about that. One last place that it could appear is right around here. But it doesn't look like there's anything, at least not right now. Otherwise, that's it for the Ancient Forest locations. It's time for um, the Wild Spire and then the Ron Vale. One moment. Alright, we're here in the Wild Spire Waste. Now, there are multiple places, since it's rock and sand, that we have to look look at where it could be. A couple places that, it could, that we've seen in the past... Yep, could be right around... Oh! Oh wow, I'm almost done with this one. Yep, they're mainly gonna be... There's some gonna be right here, but that's mainly gonna be footprints. It's not going to be, like, yeah, it's going to be just footprints. It's nothing like, um, excuse me, like a gash or anything, or maybe some fur. If you're looking for fur or something a little bit more substantial, you're going to have to look either up here or down in the, Dia um, the Dia um, Diablosis layer for that. They're primarily going to be right around here, I believe, but I could be wrong. All right. That's enough evidence of the elder dragon in the waste. Let's go tell the ecological research people. Oh, well, hold on. There could be Yeah, I would look around this place pretty substantially because there's a good chance you're going to find it here. Otherwise, there's another place that you can look is um the cacti that the Diablos like to feed off of. That's also another decent... That's also another place. I think we saw some evidence there. Otherwise... There sometimes can be some right here. I don't think it goes below... Um, I don't think it goes into the El um, Diab Diablos' lair specifically. But you can also check up on that. Even though I have enough evidence, I want to see if there's another place. Or does it just disappear or does it just disappear once you get enough? Just want to investigate a little bit further. This section is also a good place to look at. And like I said before, right around here would probably be good too. Otherwise, I think that's it for the... Um, oh, there we go. Yep, right around here. That's what you're looking for. Okay. Now, I'll go to the Rotten Vale and I'll see what we can find there. Alright. We're here in the Ron Vale, and basically, just like the third master, um, third fleet master said, you want to look particularly you think at this the. This was made by the elder dragon the third fleet master told us about. Yep, that's right. You basically want to look at the bottom of the veil, if possible, because this is predominantly where it's going to be. 
However, it'll probably be... Yep. Yeah, it's primarily going to be here. However, there could can be some evidence at the top of the veil and also in the middle. It just mainly depends on luck and... Uh, many things. Alright. Yeah, nothing there. At least not yet. Nope. Nothing here. Hold on. I want to check if there's... I like to say what I said was correct, but I just want to make sure. I thought at times there was something at the top of the veil. Yeah, you're not going to find it like where the Rotoban usually frequents. Don't get your hopes up there. However, either if it's getting into the veil... Yeah, like right here. Either if it's like getting into the veil or in the middle, you can find some evidence there as well. But it's primarily going to be at the bottom. Alright. And I think... There are two other places. You can probably find some evidence right here. And... Once I'm done being followed... I think you can also find some... Yeah, I believe you could probably find some right around here. Ah! These are the places that you want to look at, look the most. Otherwise, I just want to check one thing. Next, we'll see what the Linian researcher has to say, because it would be nice to have a few more allies with that ga uh, Galajaka. I'll see you there, everyone. Alright everyone, before we go for this episode, there's just one more thing that you might want to do um, if you found all the uh, get, the Gala Kaja's um, doodlings. You, during the night, you w this is their lair right here. One moment. There, there, that must be the entrance of their home, but the Gaja Leka are right in front of it. If they say it's they're bound to, to attack and we'll never get inside. Hmm. Uh, let's see you. Goals to establish communication with the ga uh, Gaja Laka. Sorry, I just can't say it, so please avoid harming them. Well. Alright. What? Basically, what you have to do is just be unseen by these guys. Ow. Once you get really close here... Something that you could do... Yeah, this part is where it really gets difficult. Yeah, I'm just gonna wait till he... Yeah, this is where it really gets difficult, so a way that you can just cheese past this... Is just put the ghillie mantle on. And there we go. <clears throat> gotcha, Laka Laka. When did you? It was. I was so caught up in my dancing, I didn't notice you. Yeah, not like that suspicious brush person that just went by you. <laughs> to to introduce these fine folks to you, Laka uh, Laka Laka. 
They say they're quite curious to learn your dances. They're wise indeed if they can see the majesty of our dances. I suppose they could be persuaded to take on an apprentice, but they look pretty fr Excuse you? If you're willing to teach us, we'll persevere through any lesson, lesson you dish out. As of today, you're my apprentices. Take this as my proof. Or First and foremost, a dancer needs strength. Thanks a million. If you're ever in trouble, I'll be there. That's a master's duty. You come and see me anytime you need me. Sweet. Ooh. Alright. And that's basically it. Now we can use all different sort of tunnels to get in and out of here, I believe. And we have, I think, the last of the Palco gadgets, but I could be wrong. Marvelous. Otherwise, I think that's it. Once I gain enough evidence for the Ancient Forest and the Rotten Vale, um, we shall do those Elder Dragons either in one video or just separate videos in their own right. Until then, this is Stratic36, signing off for the time being. Have a good one, everyone.